The famous church, St. Martin in the Fields, was a fixture here long before its neighbour, the National Gallery. Today it's hosting Christian artist Oliver Pengilly, who's painting a picture just for us as his own act of worship. Ollie, you would normally find an artist setting up in a chapel, but apparently you do this quite often. Yeah, for the last sort of 15 years or so, I've been painting during worship at various churches, and I realised that I wasn't much of a dancer or a singer, but I certainly like to paint and draw, mm -hmm. and so I, I started using that as my form of worship. I was always doodling in church when I was a kid. But when I started hitting my teens, I started sort of praying and seeing things in, in my heart that like I wanted to try and express. And I started doing it at the back of church at first, you know, on the table. And my father was, he said, why don't you paint up the front so people can see what you're doing? And I just saw how people that weren't necessarily visual people, they, they sort of got something from the art, from seeing it develop, from seeing it happen mm -hmm. uh, during the worship. What sort of things do you tend to paint? Each picture is very different. It can just be a simple portrait of something or someone, but it can also be more of a spiritual painting that might include angels. I'm trying to show relationship in them as well, and God's love for us and our love for Him. So I always try and include that element to most of my work, is the relationship and the journey that we're on with, with Jesus. You say you feel you get these images from God, so what impact do these paintings have on people that you've seen? Well, when I do a painting, I see what God does with it. One large event with lots of people there, uh, a few thousand, and I was there as the artist, and I did a painting on the wall, and it was a big brown horse, and I couldn't think of a biblical reason why I would do this, mm -hmm. but I really felt God tell me to do it, so I painted this big horse. And at the end of it, this one lady came up to me and said that she was thinking about her faith, whether she really believed in God or not. And she asked God whether he cared about her horse that had been put down that day. And I would painted what looked like her horse. And she was just in tears. And, I, and I, obviously I had to give her the painting. But I saw how God spoke to that one person in that whole crowd. I don't always know what happens to my work or whether it speaks to anyone or not. But when I do hear back, it's great to have that encouragement. We'll be revealing Oliver's finished painting and the message it brings at the end of the programme. But now, a modern worship song that asks that we may see things as God does. God, I look to you.
Next week, Kate Botley travels to the historic town of Helmsley in Yorkshire to celebrate 50 years of the Cleveland Way. And there's a stunning performance from Catherine Jenkins in Revo Abbey. Wow, Ollie, congratulations. It's Thank great you. and finished in time. What do you hope people get from this painting? Well, um, I prayed about it and asked God what to paint today and I felt like I should paint someone in worship, but in a safe place with God, like in the cleft of the rock here. Did you enjoy painting it? I really did, yeah. It was a form of worship for myself too, so it always brings me closer to God, so it's great. Thank you. Thank you. Well, our final hymn today speaks about bringing our gifts, whatever they are, to God in worship. Praise my soul, the King of heaven, to his feet thy tribute bring. Until next time, bye-bye. time to brush stroke egos celebrity painting challenge is serious catch the full series on iplayer there's only one place to be tonight and that's here on bbc one for line of duty at nine we've all got a theory but just who is h <laughs>